Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hot Rod Dad channel. Glad you came. I hope you stay. Like, subscribe, comment, share, etc., etc. Today is Father's Day, so I want to take a quick second to wish all you Hot Rod Dads out there watching a happy Father's Day. In today's video, I'm going to take you back to the Smoky Mountain Truck Nationals, and we're going to take a look at some of the long haul rigs that attended this event. Uh, this is uh, trucks that came in from out of state and put uh, several hundred, if not a thousand or more miles on their rig one way. So um, we're gonna take a look at some of those and or folks that use these vehicles for what they were intended and that is to drive and enjoy. So y'all stay tuned and let's check out some of the long haul rigs at the Smoky Mountain Truck Nationals. fogs rising on the Smoky Mountains back there in the background and you can see why it got the name Smoky Mountains. We just found us a parking place right here and there's a wide open field and it's fixing to be filled with 47 to 54 GM trucks. Y'all I found probably my favorite truck here yesterday and I just saw him roll in. Is this your truck sir? Yes sir. What is your name? My name is Mike Mom. Good to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. Love your truck. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I've uh, driven in from Sisseton, South Dakota. Which, South uh, Dakota. Yeah, you drove this from South Dakota? Yes, sir. How many miles is that? Well, in a straight line, only about 1,400, but I took the road, <laughs> roads less traveled and uh, have wandered around, done a uh, show in Georgia and a couple in South Carolina okay. along the way. So I've got about 3,200 miles since I left home. So uh, you might just be a candidate for the long distance award. I've been a candidate for those in a few places. And in my opinion, best of show. Well, I really appreciate that. <laughs> the best thing about it is that it really is a great driver. So, so tell us a little bit. Let, let's look at this thing. Well, I've had the truck for 48 years. 48 years? Yes, it was a $150 farm truck. And at 18 years old, it had two important things. It would start and it would run. <laughs> Oh, and those things were crucial. At that, the, very, that very crucial. You're, you're parked next to Old Smokey, by the way, over here, which uh, uh, has been in, in my life uh, for almost its entirety. Right there. Oh, mine so. did not quite look that good when, when it started. <laughs> Although I, I hated to give up the custom paint job done with a gallon bucket of blue paint and a six-inch brush, but that probably preserved it. Yeah. So uh, now this rendition is, uh, I'll be five years old at Labor Day and I've driven roughly 34,000 miles since then. Wow. Been as far west as Washington, south to Missouri. So I've done shows in 15 states now. Wow, so you're a, you're a long hauler. I'm a long hauler. So what you got for power under the hood here? There's a 350. It is carbureted because I can work on a carbureted. Yes very sanitary and when you uh, don't know what else to do to your vehicle you have somebody airbrush a hoop miner for you <laughs> very unusual steering setup here i just noticed yeah that's uh a uh, i did it product it's a steer clear box so for guys that are going to stuff a v8 in these and you don't don't want to have 20 u joints to get around yeah. your headers or have to relocate your steering column great park uh, I did it. If you're watching, I've told a thousand or so people about this. I'll be waiting for the check in the mail. <laughs> so let's take a look in the interior here. Okay, the interior is full of all my worldly possessions. I love the uh, banjo steering wheel. Uh, and tell us a little bit about this bed wood. Well, we've got uh, oak with. Uh, inlays in there it's uh, purple heart 
uh -huh. and we decided to really protect it so it's got uh, surfboard polyurethane wow. on all six edges. So the underside looks just like this, only without the inlay. Wow. Incredible. than my avalanche oh wow it's better mileage so what kind of uh suspension are you running well this is on bags okay. and it's a uh, tci frame mustang 2 front end got a uh, curie 350 rear end in uh -huh. it uh -huh. all right love your truck sir thank you for telling oh, us about thank it you. sure appreciate it and i uh, appreciate you coming to the show well hey i'm glad to be here looking forward to a great day So, like I said, there's all kinds of build styles here this weekend. I spotted this truck yesterday, and uh, I love this truck. Is this your truck, sir? Yes, sir. What's your name? Rodney. Rodney, good to meet you. Yep. Tell us a little bit about this truck. Well, the truck came out of Minnesota, just in parts. It's got a new bed. The bed wasn't very good, but the cab and fenders and all that are original. Uh, Mustang 2, Chevy rear differential, um, four-cylinder Cummins in it. Four cylinder Cummins. Yes, sir. So oh. that's that's a, a bit different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my second Cummins, and we like it. They've plenty of power and good fuel mileage. So we and got unique. Oh yeah, very unique. And as I understand it, uh, you pulled this truck here yesterday. Yes, yes, we did. We pulled. We got aluminum trailer. We pulled that truck 600 miles with this truck. All kinds of torque with that yes, uh, four BT Cummins. Yes, plenty of power. Yep. And, and it's turboed turboed also. and intercooled so you can pull easier with it so we've got to check out this engine uh so let's take a look under the hood but on the way let's take a peek inside right here so what do you got made it up to that uh it's a 4BT? Z, it's a zf5 out of a 90 ford f250 so you got an overdrive yes sir that helps out on the highway it's a one-piece billet steering wheel. We did we drew it up on CAD and we had our machine shop CNC it out. That's awesome. On that steering wheel. So let's check out under the hood right here okay. in this 4BT. So where did you come up with this power plant? I, I come out at Fort Worth, Texas off a well drilling machine. Off a well drilling machine. But they use these they use these on in bread trucks and UPS trucks and FedEx trucks. Cummins use these engines for ton of different applications. Um, generators, bobcats, all kinds of skidsters. Uh huh. And um, this one had a road pump on it instead of a industrial pump, so it worked good in a in a car, so you could accelerate correctly. Uh huh. Yep. Beautiful truck. I love the patina on it as yeah. well, right there. Most of it's original. I had to fake the cab and the bed because it the cab was we sandblasted it and the bed was new. So. Is there any uh, significance to the door lettering right here? That's my auto repair shop. I own an auto repair shop in Brighton, Illinois. Okay. And there's that gorgeous steering wheel. Very similar to the uh, earlier model AD trucks. Yeah, it's a copy that fits a modern steering column. Yeah, it's just shrunk down a it's, little bit. Uh, yeah, one piece. It, it, it was a pretty big undertaking. I got about 40 hours drawing that thing up to wow. get it the right size and wow. fit that column. Beautiful truck, sir. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for telling us about yep, it. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you. Last year, I think, there was only a um, couple of Suburbans here at the show and or panels but uh, I saw several here today I would say there's probably at least a dozen or more at the show and this one's got a very unique accessory up here on top let's check this thing out who belongs to this uh, suburban right here that's your what's your name sir Joe Good to meet you, Joe. Get up here and tell us a little bit about it. Oh, yeah. What do you want to know? Uh, I want to especially know about that U-Haul on top of it. Right there. Well, that is, uh, from what we've been able to figure out, it's from 1953, first generation that U-Haul started making uh, back when they kind of got started in the late 40s. Uh -huh. And they only made them, best we could find out, for a couple of years, and then decided they were too fragile. So they'd rent them out, and they'd get destroyed, 
and they kind of cycled through them and then went to what everybody knows now is the second generation heavy duty uh -huh. ones. Uh huh. But um, it's just a real neat box, carries tons of stuff in it. So where'd you come up with that at? Uh, found it over in Missouri in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. God had it. His father got it originally back in the uh, late 50s, and they used it on their Ford station wagon to move around <laughs> the country, and then it finally wound up hanging in their barn. Oh, wow. Very unique. Here's a really cool, unique vintage piece, too, is the uh, license plate and the the frame on there yeah so uh how far did you drive it here oh yeah we drive this thing everywhere how how far did you drive uh this is a short trip we just come <clears throat> from north to nashville okay yeah we did uh we've put twenty thousand miles on it wow yeah. wow so you're living in this thing basically pretty much we're on the road a lot we did about six thousand miles during christmas and new year's okay west and, and so what kind of engine you running in it's uh five three okay yeah. can we take a peek inside sure yeah So where all have you been in it? Uh, well, there's a suitcase there in the back that you can see from the other side. We'll walk around there. Okay. I noticed the uh, vintage uh, drum pedal oh, yeah. there in the floor for yeah. the accelerator. Got to do that for Speed King, yeah. Really well, neat the... custom touch right there. As you can see, there's a lot left to be done. But we're enjoying driving it too much to stay home and work on it more. Uh-huh. I really the like the... Uh, the fabric right here on the on the door panel see yeah the suitcase here in the back is where we uh every state we go to my wife puts, puts a new sticker on it oh okay, that's cool and so you can see how many we've been to so far we're gonna pretty much finish that up this summer get all all lower 48 states in oh really wow and then next summer we're heading out on the alcan highway to uh, anchorage alaska wow so you're giving mr pinkerton some uh some competition there yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you so much for telling us about it hey, very you. cool ride thank you So over here to the left of the field, as you drive in, they've got all the COEs and the um, four-wheel drives and and uh, different kinds of things like that parked all together. What a rig this is! I think this is possibly my favorite thing here today. Just an incredible truck. And I see Mr. Pinkerton here, here with the blue turtle. Take you inside right here and kind of show you around a little bit. Got a couple of bunks back here. Just a basic nightstand. A couple of porthole windows in the side. And the obligatory dogs playing poker picture <laughs> that actually comes off and you can slide the air conditioner unit in right there over here just a little kitchen area a food prep area refrigerator right down there got all the food stuffs down here in the shelves and check out the little model truck right there thank you thank you very much so did you finish your grand tour? I did. I've now made it to all 49 states. All 49 states. I'm trying to go with barrels, take it to Hawaii, but I'm not so sure. Again, <laughs> too much on Now, it went great. I mean, overall, little stuff. I popped a radiator, a fuel filter, 13,000 mile trip. That's okay. Easy That's repair. awesome. That's awesome. Great trip. Fantastic. So this is indeed a long haul rig right here. And as you can see right there, 
He's fill, filled in all 48 lower states right there, Alaska, and not going to happen on Hawaii. <laughs> These folks sure are enjoying the show today. <laughs> hey y'all, thanks for watching. Coming along with me to the Smoky Mountain Truck Nationals. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe and until next time for the love of old chevy trucks y'all get, get out, out there and build, build something, something.